did you just do a fresh install of Windows 11 and it forced you to use your Microsoft account? Well, stick around because I'm gonna show you how you can install Windows 11 without the requirement that you use your Microsoft account. Hey, what's up everybody? To all the new people here, my name is Havoc. Like I said in the intro, I'm gonna show you how you can install a fresh copy of Windows 11 without having to use your Microsoft account. The first thing we need to do is download an ISO or the installation image from the Microsoft site. You can Google it and find it. If you're having trouble finding it, I have a link to it in my Discord server. Head over to discord.gg havoc and I have the ISO uploaded to a cloud storage server where you can get it and follow along with the tutorial here. After you get your Windows 11 ISO downloaded, you need to either create installation media or copy it to a boot solution like Ventoy. Personally, I'm gonna use Ventoy for this example. If you wanna watch my video on how to set up Ventoy, I'll put it somewhere up here and I'll also put a link in the description below. Here we are at the computer that we're going to install Windows on. I have that Windows ISO, you can see it's version 22HR. I have that copied over to the Ventoy disk and it's booted in. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. So we start booting to that disk to install Windows. Here we are in the Windows setup. Go ahead and choose your install language and hit next. We're gonna do install now. When you get to this screen, you don't have to put a product key in. So I'm gonna click the option that says, I don't have a product key. Choose the operating system you're going to install. For this, I'm gonna do Windows 11 Pro. Ask you to accept the license agreement. We'll go ahead and do that. We're gonna do a custom install for this example. Choose the drive you want to install Windows to. As you can see at the bottom, drive three is my Ventoy drive and you don't want to install Windows to that. So I'm just gonna choose my two terabyte drive. I'll go next. Windows will begin installing. Windows has been installed and it's gonna go ahead and reboot and it'll go into the rest of the setup process. And now you see we're booting into the Windows setup experience. We're gonna go ahead and choose your country or region right here and then click yes. Choose your keyboard layout for this example, doing the US, we'll click yes. Do you wanna add a second keyboard option? If you do, you can do that now. I'm gonna skip. And this is where the issues start to pop up. If you have internet access, Windows will want to connect and use your Microsoft account. So you have a few options here. The easiest option, if you're on a desktop that has no wireless capabilities, is just to unplug the network cable, which is what I have here. And you can see it says ethernet not connected. We have the option at the bottom that says, I don't have internet. If you're on a computer that has wireless, Windows will most likely see your wireless networks and want to connect you to those. So this is what you're going to do there. Two options in that case. If you're on a laptop, you probably have the option to disable the wireless by hitting like function and F whatever button on the laptop. That'll disable the wireless and you might be able to get through this setup. And then the second way, which most everybody is going to do, is we need to do a couple key commands here. The keyboard command we need to do is press and hold the shift button and then press F10. If you're on a desktop, this most likely will work without any extra key presses. However, if you're on a laptop or maybe a smaller sized keyboard, you might have to press the extra key to make this work. Let me show you. So here we have my Logitech keyboard. This top row here, all of my F keys are in light blue. And what that means is we need to hold down the function button right here and press that key to make that key work. Otherwise, if I were to press F10, it is volume down. So if I press this F10 key, it's not gonna do anything because it's trying to do volume down and not actual F10. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold on function, shift, and then press F10. And that's gonna bring up the command prompt. Your laptop or keyboard might be different. Mine just says function, FN button. All right, so go ahead and do shift F10. And you can see it brings up a command prompt here. And I've seen, like I said, a lot of people in other comments of my videos have said, this doesn't work, it doesn't work. 
most likely it's because they have to hit a function key to make F10 work. So now what we want to do is we want to type ubi slash bypass nro. Type o-o-b-e, a backslash. That's the one that's not the question mark. It's the other one. And then bypass nro. What this command is going to do is put Windows back into the out of box experience or OOBE, UBI. And when we booted up Windows for the first time here, we got to choose our keyboard, etc. That is the out of box experience. When a system developer makes your computer, they install Windows on it. When you get it and you boot it up for the first time, you have that experience. So that's what out of box experience means. What the bypass NRO is going to do, it's going to bypass the network. So it's going to still put us into this setup process, but we don't have to choose a network connection. And that's the overall key here. If Windows sees there's an internet connection, it's going to try to force you to use your Microsoft account. So this way, going in using this command, it's going to disable networking. Windows is going to say, hey, we don't have any networking. I guess we can continue. We won't have to use our Microsoft account. So we're going to hit enter and it's going to restart the system into the out of box experience with no internet connection. And we're back to our out of box experience. We'll click next or yes. Choose your keyboard layout like we did before. I don't want to do any other keyboards. And then it's going to try to connect us to a network. It's still not going to work. You'll have this option now that says, I don't have internet. So you'll click that. And then it's going to try to say, Hey, you really want to have internet here. It's going to help you. And what we want to do is click continue with limited setup. It's trying to kind of trick you to say, it's not going to get the full experience, but trust me, you, this is what you want. So continue with limited setup. Type in your, your name or whoever's going to use the system. Havoc, and then type in whatever password you're going to use. I uncheck all of this stuff because it's all the stuff that Microsoft, you know, phones home, collects your data, etc. So tailor it to your experiences, however you want to do. I just uncheck all of that. Now we got out of the UBI and it's putting us into Windows with our setup. Here we go. We're in Windows. We did not have to use a Microsoft account. It's that simple. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section below or jump on my Discord server at discord.gg slash havoc. We have a whole tech section where we talk about home labs, home servers, home automation, tech, hardware, NAS, etc. So love to have you on the Discord server, chat about your experience with installing Windows 11. And again, you saw the version of Windows I did was from May 5th of 2023. If the newest versions of Windows 11 don't allow you to do this hack, I have a link where you can download this ISO on my Discord server. So go ahead and jump on there and you can get the link to download this specific ISO. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, and keep doing good.